Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Vue 3 step by step in Laravel project from this scratch. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please do subscribe our channel. Let's get started. Before installing Vue 3, we have to install Laravel project. So let's open the browser. Let's go to the Laravel site. Click on the documentation and here you will see the installation we are going to install via Composer. Click on this and in the sections you can see some of the command. So using this command we are going to install the Laravel project. So let's open the command prompt. Let's move this to center. And to install the Laravel project we need to go inside the stdocs. Jam. Inside Jam, we have stdocs, and here we are going to create a Laravel project. So let's type the command composer create hyphen project Laravel slash Laravel, and we are giving a project name Laravel test view. Make sure before running this command, you need to install composer in your system. If you have not installed, you can follow the link given in the description below. I have already created a video regarding this. It will install all the packages and the dependency required for the Laravel project. It will take a couple of minutes to install, so please wait for a while. Okay, now our Laravel project is created. So let's go inside the file. It is inside the suite file. I have jam. Inside jam, we have htdocs. And inside htdocs, we have Laravel view that we have just created. Now let's open this file from Sublime. Here you can see our Laravel project. Before installing Vue.js, let's go to the package section. Inside the package.json, there are some dependencies already installed. You can see Axios, Laravel Mix, Rest, and Post CSS. Now let's install the view file. For that, let's go to the project directory. We have Laravel that's view. Click enter. Before installing Vue.js, you need to install npm. So let's run the command npm install. Okay, npm is not recognized as an internal or external command. This means that we have not installed Node.js in our system. So before proceeding to this, let's install Node.js. For that, open the browser. Here you can search for the Node.js. Click on Node.js. Okay, here you can see different options to download. You can use recommended or latest features. So I'm going to use the recommended one. Let's click on this. There it's downloaded here. Now click on this file. Now you can see the pop-up screen. Now click on next and click on this checkbox. Accept all the terms. Next. And you can change the path where you want to install the Node.js. For me, I'm going to install inside the C drive. Next. And click on next. And click on next. Now it's ready to install. So click on install. For this installation, it will take a couple of minutes, so please wait for a while. Alright, Node.js is installed in our system, so click on finished. Now you can close this screen. You can check the version of the Node.js that we have installed. In the command prompt, you can type node minus p. We have already installed, but npm is not recognized yet. So let's restart our system. I'll be back after restarting my system. Alright, I have just restarted my system. So let's open command prompt. Let's check whether node.js is installed or not. 
for that you can type node you can see we have node.js install and it's 14.17.1 so let's exit this okay now let's go to our project folder it's in jamp cd inside jamp we have stdocs and inside stdocs we have created laravel iphone view as a project name and now it's time to install Vue.js so let's install Vue.js and its uh, dependencies for that you can run the command npm install iphone iphone save view at next next is for the latest version of view it is view 3 and i'm also going to install another dependencies that is view loader for that npm install iphone iphone save that's dev uh, you can install this command separately but for now i'm going to install at once so let's type view that's loader at next so it will take some time to install alright the installation of view and dependencies has been done now let's check whether it is installed or not go to your project here you can see view 3.1.2 it is the latest one and view loader 16.2.0 is installed in our system and also while running npm install you can see node modules is also available in our system all the other dependencies will be installed over here okay now let's prepare mix for view for that let's go to our webpack.mix.js file and here we can add view method let me add it that view if you get an error remember to check if your version of laravel mix is 6 and up you can check from package.json here we have laravel mix and we have 6.0.6 .6. so if you found any issue then don't forget to check on this version till now we have installed view and its dependencies and also we have added view method inside the webpack.mix.js now let's go ahead and create our view 3 component for that let's go to our resources inside resources we have js and here you can create one folder here I am going to create components and inside component I am going to create one view component file home.view you can give your own whatever you want inside this home.view I am going to write a template alright we have already created a component now let's import this in our app.js assuming your structure is the same from a vanilla install this part will look a bit different if you have seen view 2 initialized in laravel before first we are not going to import view we are going to import a named export from view 3 called create app for that let's type import create app from view okay now in next let's import our uh, home component and create the view app import home from components components inside component we have home dot view okay constant app and create app great we have now created a view app instance but we haven't registered our component or mounted view to do that we'll add app dot component here we have home and this is home component okay now let's mount our app here I'm going to add app this uh, has app will be the ID 
that we are going to define in our blade file finally our app.js file is set up okay now let's prepare our blade for view for that let's go to our default blade file you can create your own but I'm going to use this welcome.blade.php now let's remove these uh, styles we don't need anymore if you want to keep them just leave it okay I'm going to remove all these we don't need okay we have body and inside body let's create a one div with the ID ID that we have mounted in our app.js that is app okay you can give different and you can mount uh, this ID in your app.js and whatever Vue.js component you define this should be inside this ID okay now let's add a script tag okay I'm just below this tag script source okay now our setup has been done now before importing any component let's uh, run the project for that you can go to the command and type npm run watch first it will compile our Vue.js file here I am having some issue mix is not recognized as an internal or external command okay let's run the npm command npm install if there are any dependencies related to mix then it will install everything okay guys we have installed npm once again now let's run the command again npm run watch okay now it's running for these additional dependencies it will install automatically okay to complete this process once again we need to run the same command npm run watch okay our compilation has been done successfully now I'm going to exit this okay now let's run the project to run the project to run the project we have PHP artisan sort it's artisan okay let's open the browser here you can type 127.0.0 this yes. okay project is running but we don't have anything on the screen so let's add the component in our welcome.blade.php here we have home component so after adding this component let's run the project here you can see welcome to the view 3 that the welcome to the view 3 is written inside our template file and here you can update whatever you want installing view 3 in laravel from scratch has been done successfully right okay let's save this and if you update anything on the component then always you need to run npm run watch or npm run dev so I'm going to add new prompt here let's go to our project in this screen you can keep running your npm run watch so that it keep watching your updates so once you update anything on the component then it will automatically compile it so you don't have to run this command every time here you can see let me refresh this page and here the added content is in the screen so view 3 installation has been done successfully thank you for watching this video if you have any questions regarding this session please feel free to mention it in the comment section below 
and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to know more about our upcoming videos please subscribe to our channel till then thank you and enjoy coding